The SPDs in your systems are not working, and here is why. Among the four specifications written on SPDs, which are UP, UC, IIN, and IMAX, there are two major ones that everyone really needs to start paying a lot of attention to. So stay with me while we dive into these specifications one after the other. Hi everyone, my name is Bashir from Inside But first, why do we need SPDs? SPDs are designed to get rid of voltage peak. Let's say, for instance, we have lightning strike or irregularities from public grid or transient from turning off or turning on inductive loads. Such irregularities can create voltage spike beyond the power equipment's maximum rated voltage. Though, in terms of lightning strikes, there are some factors that will determine if your SPD can protect you from lightning. Number one is the proximity of the strike to your site and direction of strike to your site. Now let's get into the specifications of the SPDs one after the other. Let's start with the UC. Now the UC is the maximum operating voltage the SPD can operate at, which means the SPD is typically doing nothing below that UC level. Now let's take for instance this one, this SPD, Starting with the UC, this particular SPD has 550 volts as the UC ratings. This is it. Let's assume uh, we have a system, a PV system that is 95 volt configuration, and our charge controller has 150 volts maximum input. If we choose to use an SPD with this rating, the SPD is typically doing nothing because this SPD will not begin and start working. It is doing nothing below this UC rating. It is until the voltage exceeds this UC rating before this SPD will kick in and start discharging excess to the ground. But as long as it is below the UC rating, the SPD is typically there, just sitting there. It's not doing anything. It is possible that we can have a spike that will be within the range of like 200 to 500 volts. So if a spike like that happens, and this is the kind of SPD we are using in a system, in a PV setup that is 95 volts, and a charge controller that has the maximum input as 150 volts, then it will have, this will allow everything to just pass. It will not do anything. It will allow it to pass, and the charge controller that has 150 volts as maximum PV input will have got damaged already. Because from that 200 volts to 500 volts, this SPD is still seeing that voltage as norms. So it's not going to kick in and start doing its job because of over rating. But for that kind of system that is 95 volts, if we choose an SPD that has this UC value as 100 volts, then it is perfectly suited for that application. Because in reality, if we use an SPD that has 100 volts as UC level, before that SPD will start discharging excess to the ground, the voltage will go to about 150 volts, or let me say like 120 volts, 150 volts, or even up to 200 volts before the SPD will start discharging the excess to the ground. So for a 95 volt system, if you can get an SPD that is around 100 volts, that would be the best for that setup. Here's another SPD. This one, I believe, is AC. Now, this one has UC rating as 280 volts. This is it. 280 volts. So, this one now, we can use it for 220 volts. It's fine. It's fine if you are using this for 220 volts. AC inputs is very very close to our operating voltage so let's go back to this now this particular SPD now we said it has 550 volts as the UC level does it mean that it's useless no it's not useless we can use this one for a PV system that is around 360 volts 400 volts 550 volts our high frequency configuration so this particular ones will do those job perfectly they kick in when it's supposed to kick in and it will sit down doing nothing when it's supposed to just be idle but in a system of around 360 volts or 450 volts PV setup if we use an SPD that has UC rating as 1000 volts I think I have one this one has 1000 volts as UC this is it so this one that has 1000 volts as UC if you choose to use this one for a setup that is 
200 votes or 450 votes it will definitely not work it will just be there as decoration let's move on to the next specification which is the second important specification we used to look out for the first one is the uc while the second one is up this one now has up as 2.2 kv this is it this one has uc as 2.2 up 2.2 kv the up is the peak voltage that the spd can withstand which in other words it means if the surge voltage exceeds this 2.2 kv this spd will short circuit it will short circuit to ground because the surge has exceed the capacity of this surge the surge might be happening if we size it well if we size the spd well the surge might be let's say 800 volts 1000 1500 but if a single surge if a single surge occurs and it exceeds this 2.2 kv the spd will go from green this light will go from green and turn on the red indicating that this spd is done it's no longer in use the next one is the in the in is just like the uc which is the maximum operating current the spd can operate at just like the uc has um, 500 volts this one has 20 kilo Ampere as the high chain. This is it. The operating current of this particular SPD is 20 kilo ampere. It will not do anything just like the UC. The SPD will not do anything. It's doing nothing below this high end level. So it is more or less like the UC also. And lastly, the high max, which is 40 kilo ampere. So the high max is more or less like the UP also. The maximum, or let me say, the peak current that the SPD can withstand. So anything above the IMAX, if a surge exceeds this IMAX, then the SPD will short circuit to ground, which I think is very rare. So in summary, UP and UC are the major two specifications that we need to be very careful when we are choosing or when we are sizing our SPDs. If you are new to the channel, a sub to the channel will be surgical and consider to give us a thumbs up turn on the notification bell so that whenever we drop you'll be among the first to receive the notification thank you